pursue justice upon ju- judges and civil servants according to their tribes in all your cities that Yehovah your Elohim is about to give you so they may judge the people impartially you must not twist justice show favoritism or take bribes because a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise and subverts the speech of the righteous you are to pursue justice and only justice so you may live and possess the land that Yehovah your Elohim is about to give you you are not to set up a sacred pole beside the altar of Yehovah your Elohim that you will build furthermore you are not to erect for yourselves a sacred stone pillar because Yehovah your Elohim detests these things You are not to sacrifice to you by your Elohim an ox or a sheep that has defect or any flaw in it, because that is detestable to you by your Elohim. You may discover that a man or a woman living in one of your cities that you by your Elohim is about to give you has done evil in the eyes of you by your Elohim by transgressing his covenant. He may be following and serving other gods by bowing down to them, that is to the sun, the moon, or to any of the heavenly host. Something I did not command. When it is reported to you or you hear of it, then investigate it to roughly. When the truth has been established that this detestable thing has been done in Israel, summon the man or the woman who did this evil thing to your city gates. This then stone the man or the woman to death. Based on the testimony of two or three witnesses, they must surely die, but they are not to die based on the testimony of one person. Let the witnesses be the first to begin executing them. Then the rest of the people shall follow. By doing this, you will purge evil from among you. Deciding Difficult Cases If a case... It's too difficult for you to decide with respect to bloodshed, civil claims, assault and battery, or other matters of dispute within your courts. Bring it to the place that Yehovah your Elohim will choose. Present the case to the Levitical priest or the judge at the time. When you have acquired and they have announced the verdict, carry out the verdict that was declared to you at a place that Yehovah will choose. Carefully observe all, all of their instructions to you. In accordance with that, with what the law says, and in accordance with the verdict that we will be handed to you, you must not deviate from the verdict that they declare to you, either to the right or to the left. If a man presumptuously disregard the priest who is serving you via Elohim, there are or the, or the judge, that person must die, so you will purge evil from Israel. Then all the people who hear will be afraid and will not act presumptuously again. When you have, uh, when you have come to the land that you your Elohim is about to give you, and you have taken possession of it, and have settled in it, then you will say, I will appoint a king over me like all the nations around me. You will certainly set a king over you whom you by your Elohim will choose from among your relatives, but you must not place a foreign king over you who is not from your relatives. Only he must not amass her horses for himself or cause the people to return to Egypt to obtain more horses for you, but... <clears throat> said you must never return that way again also he must not accumulate wives for himself otherwise his affection will become diverted and accumulate for himself excessive quantities of silver and gold when he occupies his royal throne he must make a copy of this torah for himself from a provision for the descendants of levi the levitical priest the whole tribe of Levi will not have portion or an inheritance with an Israel. 
Instead, they will eat the burnt offerings of Yubah because that is their inheritance. But they will not have an inheritance among their relatives because Yubah alone is their inheritance as she promised them. A portion of what the people offer in sacrifice with their cattle or sheep is to be due the priest. They must set aside the shoulder, jewels, and stomach for the priest. Give them the first gatherings of your grain, wine, oil, and wool from sharing of your flock. You by your Elohim has chosen them and their descendants from among your tribes to stand and serve in the name of Yuba with all their lives. Any descendants of Levi who wishes to do so may come from any city or part of Israel where he resides to the place that Yehovah will choose. There he may serve in the name of Yehovah his Elohim, like his fellow descendants of Levi who stand there in, Ye- in Yehovah's presence. He may eat the same share as they do regardless of what he received from his ancestral estate. When you enter the land that Yehovah your Elohim is about to give you, don't learn the detestable practices of those nations here there. There must never be found among you anyone who sacrifices son and daughter in fire, practices divinations, interprets omens, practices sorcery, casts spells, or who is a medium, or occultist, or a necromancer. Whoever practices this thing is detestable to Yuvah, and Yuvah your Elohim will expel them before you because of these things. You must be completely faithful to Yuvah your Elohim, because those nations that you are about to dispossess listen to those who practice witchcraft and divination, but Yuvah does not allow you to act this way. Yuvah your Elohim will raise up a prophet like me for you from among your relatives. You must listen to him. Because this is what you ask from Yuvah your Elohim to ho- at Horeb when you are assembled together. Don't let us hear the voice of Yuvah your our Elohim again or even see this great fire. Otherwise, we will die. Then Yuvah told me what they have suggested is good i will raise up a prophet like you from among the relatives and i will place my words in his mouth so that he may expound everything that i have power i have commanded to them but if someone will not listen to those words that the prophet speaks in my name i will hold him accountable even then if the prophet speaks presumptuously in my name which I didn't authorize him to speak, or if he speak in the name of other gods, the prophet must die. Now you may ask yourself, how will be able to discern that Yehovah has not spoken? Whenever a prophet speaks in the name of Yehovah, an oracle does not come out or the word is not fulfilled, then Yehovah has not spoken it. The prophet will have spoken presumptuously, so you need not fear him the cities of refuge when you buy your alone destroy those nations whose lands is about to give you you must dispossess them and live in their cities and houses you must reserve the three cities within the land that you buy your alone is about to give you to possess build roads to rough throughout the land that you your Elohim is providing as an inheritance, and then divide it into three districts so that any killer may flee there. Now, this is the situation for any killer who flees there to live. Suppose he strikes his friend unwittingly, not having hated him previously. For instance, he may have accompanied his friend to go to, the, to a forest to cut trees. Then he swung his axe to cut some wood, but the axe head flow off the handle and hit his friend so that he died. The killer may flee to one of the cities to live. While the distance may be great and the angry avenger pursues the killer, he may overtake him and kill him in which case 
there will be no justice in his death because he did not hate his friend previously. Therefore, I am commanding you to reserve three cities. Increase the cities of refuge. Now, if you want enlarge your territories, just as he promised your ancestors and gives you all the land that all the land that he promised and if you are careful to observe all these commands that i am commanding you today to love you by your elohim and to walk daily in his ways then add three more cities in addition to these three cities you must not shed innocent blood in your land that you by your alone is about to give you as an inheritance otherwise you'll be guilty of murder however if a person hates his brothers lies in wait for him, rises up against him and attack him so that he dies, and then he flees to one of those cities. Then the elders of his own city shall send for him, remove him from there and deliver him to the related avenger for execution. Had no pity on him, but totally purged that shedding of innocent blood from Israel so that life may go well with you. Bowder, boundary markers. When you inherit the land that Yehovah your Elohim is about to give you, don't move your neighbor's boundary marker from where it was placed long ago. The testimony of one person alone is not to suffice to convict anyone of any iniquity, sin, or guilt, but the matter will stand on the testimony of two or three witnesses. When a malicious witness takes the stand against a man and accuses him, then both must stand with their dispute in Yahweh's presence, the priests and the judges at the time. The judges will investigate too roughly. If the false witness lies in testifying against his relative, to do him just as he intends to do to his relative. By doing this, you will purge evil from your midst. When other hears of this, they will be afraid and will not do such an evil deed again in your midst. Your eyes must not show pity, life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, and hand for hand, and foot for foot. Deuteronomy 20, Rules of War When you go to war against your enemies and observe more horses, chariots, and soldiers than you have, don't be afraid of them, for you by your Elohim who brought you out of the land of Egypt is with you. As you draw near for battle, let the priest approach and speak to the army. He will say to them, Listen, Israel, you are about to go into battle today against your enemies. Don't be faint-hearted. Don't be afraid, don't panic, and don't be terrified to face them. For you, by your Elohim, will be with you a fighting on your behalf against your enemies in order to grant you victory. Furthermore, let the officials ask the army, Is there a man here who has built a new house but has not yet dedicated it? Dedicated it. Let him go back home, otherwise he may die. <coughs> In battle and another man dedicated it and is there a man who here who has planted a vineyard and not yet benefited from it let him go home otherwise he may die in battle and another man use it and is there a man here who is engaged to a woman and has not yet married her let him go back home otherwise he may die in battle and, ma and another man marry her let the officials also speak to the army is there a man here who is afraid and faint-hearted? Let him go back home. Otherwise, he may demoralize his fellow soldier. When the official have finished speaking to the army, they must appoint officer to lead the troops. When you approach a city to wage war against it, extend terms of peace. <clears throat> if it agrees to peace and welcomes you, then all the people found in it will serve you as force laborers but if they refuse to make peace with you and instead choose war then attack it why you elohim will deliver it into your control and you must execute every male the woman children all the livestock in the city and all the spoil and plunder will belong to you appropriate the spoil of your enemies which your way elohim will give you do this to all the cities that are distant from you that is 
to those cities that are not in neighboring nations. You are not to leave even one person alive in the cities of these nations that Yehovah Yoelon is about to give you as an inheritance. You must completely destroy the Hittites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, just as Yehovah Yoelon commanded you. So they won't teach you to do all the detestable things that they do for their gods. If you do not, if you do what they teach you, you will sin against your vile Elohim. When you attack a city and have to fight against it for many days, don't destroy its trees by cutting them down with an axe. You may eat from them, but you must not cut them all down. Are the trees of the field human beings that you would come and attack them? However, you may cut down the trees whose fruit you know is not edible in order to build siege work against the city that wage war with you until it falls. Atonement for unsolved murder. If a murder victim is found fallen in an open country of the land that your Yo Elon is about to give you to possess, and it's not known who killed him, then let your elders and judges go out and measure the distance from the dead body to the neighboring cities. Then the elders of the city nearest the body are to take a heifer that has not been put to work or has not pulled a yoke, and are to lead the heifer to the following stream in a valley that has never been tilled or planted. They are to break the heifer's neck there. Then the priests of the sons of Levi are to step forward because Yuvayu Elohim choose them to serve and pronounce blessing in his name. Every case of dispute and assault is to be subject to the ruling. All the elders of the city nearest the dead body or are to wash their hands over the heifer whose neck was broken in the valley. And they are to make this declaration, Our hands didn't shed this blood, nor were we witness to the crime. Make atonement for your people of Israel. Whom you have redeemed, you have, and don't charge the blood of an innocent man against them. Then the, then the blood shed will be atoned for. This is how you will remove the guilt of innocent blood from among you. For you must do what is right in the sight of Jehovah.